Hey everyone, this is John from johnloomer.com and today I'm going to talk about the elements of a WordPress site. Now, I don't claim to be a developer, but I know enough HTML and CSS and even enough uh, PHP and JavaScript to customize things and make myself dangerous. So, you give me a good WordPress theme and some plugins and uh, you know, I can go to work. So that's what I've done with my site. I uh, just built it a little over two months ago and I'm constantly tweaking it, tweaking it and refining it really happy with uh, where it stands right now. I get a lot of people ask me what theme I use and what plugins I use. So I'm going to go through a lot of that today. So first things first, I use the Shell Light theme, L-I-T-E. It's really intended for business use. Um, really, I'm a big fan of it. So basically you have a, a home page that you can customize. I mean, this is completely mine. I completely changed what they asked me to do. Um, but I use uh, child themes to, to customize everything here. And uh, I really like this. Instead of going straight to the blog, you can create your own entry point. Um, so now plugins, you know, from this page, one of the one great plugin I found today was this uh, video gallery on the left. Um, it's called Pro Player. And the advantage of this one is that I've seen so many um, video galleries that you know you can embed them into posts, but you can't embed them into a home page or somewhere else. And if you do, it's a price. And uh, this one, you can embed wherever you want with PHP. And it's also very customizable. You can pick your own themes and whatnot. Um, other than this, uh, at the bottom, I've got random text. So if you were to refresh this page, um, different recommendations would show up at the bottom. <clears throat> and uh, another one, Kalen's Post List. That's K-A-L-I-N possibly as post list. I was searching forever to find something that did this. Again, uh, embedding a, a, kind of like an RSS list, but it's uh, based on categories or tags, and it's extremely customizable in terms of like numbers, that, number of posts that you bring up, and um, the format. And, uh, it's, just, it's just great. I mean, I haven't even dug into exactly everything you can do with it yet, but it's really nice. Um, next up, so within the blog posts, um, there's something called the blog roll widget and RSS feed. And that's what pulls in these articles I have here from s some of my other sites. It's again something I couldn't find a solution for till, until I found this. Uh, collapsing archives, which really should be a staple, but it's not. Um, so this you can customize in terms of whether this is collapsed or open or whatever uh, when you come here. Now, when you scroll to the bottom, a little thing pops out here. Boom! That's nRelate Flyout, which is a really nice uh, plugin to, to drive people to other pages on your site. Um, Shadowbox is really good for images. Um, so, we've got this little thumbnail, click on it, and it brings up this really nice overlay to view the full size of the image. And I uh, searched forever for the right uh, share buttons, share plugin. I went with share and follow. Um, you can customize, you know, the size of the icons, um, which ones, uh, you know, which ones you, you have as well. One thing I don't like is with the Twitter icon. If you click on it, it uh, doesn't even bring in. I, this is like a bug in mine, I guess. I haven't seen it. Seen many people complain about it, so I have to put in the regular tweet button too, which seems out of place. There's also a, a follow um, element to it as well. It doesn't seem to. Uh, function within um, it doesn't seem to function within mine within my theme um, it, it's it's something that uh, I use on, on my other sites if you were to go to brewers.com you have this all stuff on the site which I really like um, next up uh, so here an embedding PF, PDF uh, it's called dirty suds dirty suds embed PDF to embed a PDF file. Um, also, where my site and you see forms, I've got an example here, that's Gravity Forms, which I really like. I'm running out of time here, but on Facebook, um, so I use the, the Facebook tab manager to do all my um, iframes, and um, this is also a different video. It's, um, I've got a different video gallery here as well. And, and uh, that's really it. But you can get more details at, on the article at johnloomer.com. Uh, otherwise, we'll talk to you next time. Thanks.